Today we're going to do some very special hamburgers. Martinez' special hamburgers with cheese. Uh, and uh, we're going to make my special smashed potatoes. You can find it on my blog, myrecipes.co.za. Don't forget to go and have a look before we start. So, we're going to make some smashed potatoes now. I normally have about two potatoes per person. Uh, they're small potatoes. Peel them. Now we're going to fill, it up, fill up the, uh, uh, the, the pot with water. Just make sure you cover it, uh, cover the potatoes. And then we're going to season it well with salt and pepper. So double the amount of salt uh, than pepper. Okay, now we're going to put these on the stove and we're going to boil them uh, for about six to seven minutes. Okay, so our, our squashed uh, potatoes, we come off the stove now, been on the stove for seven minutes. They sort of parboiled at this point in time, which is what we're looking for. And now we're going to just put them through the strainer. Now at this point, give them a good shake because you want to chuff them up. You want to get them all nice and rough, rough around the edges. Scruffed up like that. Now we're going to just let them cool down uh, for about five minutes. Okay, we've got a baking tray and we're now going to put the oven on 190. going to preheat and while it's preheating I'm just going to tip out the potatoes into the baking tray like so. At this point we're gonna we're gonna season it properly with salt and I like to use a lot of salt and a lot of pepper and my smashed potato. Take some olive oil, just going to glug it over there, nice generous glug of olive oil and we're going to turn the potatoes around now. go and now we're going to put them in the oven uh, for about 30 minutes okay so here's my trick move them out apart from each other like that remember this is very very hot and remember the oven is still on now we're going to take these potatoes and we're going to push them down like that that's why I call them Martin, this is smashed potato. I'm going to smash them like that. That's why we need a bit of space. Don't worry if it breaks. Doesn't make any difference. Like that. The more surface area you get to touch the bottom of the roasting pan, the better. The more crispy these potatoes are going to be. Okay, let's get that excess off. Put that down one side. Now what we need is we need some more olive oil. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on. Not too much, you don't want to drench it. Want some more salt. Okay, 
And let's just get these out of the way quickly. I'm going to put them on one side because I just need to quickly get some rosemary. I'm going to take the leaves off like that. I'm going to just grab the rosemary like that, strip the leaves like that, and then break the end off because the end is nice and soft. You don't have to struggle to get all the leaves off the rosemary. And you need about a handful of rosemary. There we go. And let me give these a good chop. Not too much. And I want it fine. Because we're going to take the rosemary off at the end. And just like that would be perfect. Put that in the dustbin. Put that across there. Over there. Now I'm going to get that uh, roasting pan back again. Okay. I'm going to take some rosemary. I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Now you know why I don't want to do it too fine. I don't want to eat the rosemary. Well, I don't mind eating a little bit of rosemary. But not much. I want some garlic cloves. What I'm going to do now is I've peeled some garlic cloves and I'm going to do about one, half a garlic clove per potato. Just put it on top, like so. Careful you don't burn yourself. Okay, so we put some garlic on, and now we're going to take some red wine vinegar, and we're just going to drizzle a little bit of red wine vinegar on top of the potatoes. Not too much, a little bit. Then we're going to pop them back in the oven for 45 minutes. 45 minutes at 190 degrees. There we go. Okay, potatoes are ready. So switch that off. Doesn't that look absolutely, absolutely delicious? We're going to get a paper towel, a paper towel. Put it on a plate. And we're going to take this. Let's take some of that rosemary sprigs off and the garlic, put them in there. This is Martinez's smashed potatoes. 